What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and we're coming at you, not just me. We're coming at or you with plural. Chopping Birds, NFL Pick'em, Week 5. Yep. So, how did we do last week, Christopher? We went 8-7. and seven, We eight. both went 8-7 and seven last week. That was, so. Which puts you in the lead by two still, and you're up in 29-34. and 29-34, wow. Putting me at 27-36. and 36. We are awful. We're not very absolutely awful. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Thursday night football, we got a potential toss up that I did not see earlier in the year. We got the Cardinals at the 49ers. See, I don't know, man. I mean, the 49ers gave us a hell of a game, but uh, Carson Palmer might not be playing, but I'm still going to pick Arizona. No, I'm going to go with the uh, 49ers. Oh, 49ers. Without, without Carson Palmer. Without Carson Palmer. So, with Carson Palmer. I'm sorry. Cardinals. 49ers. Still go 49ers. Yeah. It's at home. Cardinals suck. So, we have the, uh, oh, the very bad game for the Browns. We have the Patriots at the Browns with Tom Brady. Brady's awakening, so it's going to be bad. Bad for the Browns, absolutely. They're going to score 50. I wouldn't be surprised if they score a 50-burger. So, I'm I'm going to pick the Browns. Browns are like, okay, we're like a couple plays away from winning each game, and we might as well not even show up because Brady's I mean, they might as well just forfeit. Yeah. I'm going to take the Patriots. But it felt so good for Tom Brady in my starting lineup this week. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be taking the Patriots as well? Oh, yeah. It's Patriots. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we have the Eagles at the Lions. I'm going to have to go with the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Go with the Eagles as well. Wentz Wagon, I'm on it. <laughs> uh, we have the Bears at the Colts. Oh, God. I'm taking the Colts. I'm taking the Bears. <laughs> I'm done picking the Colts for right now. I'm taking the Colts. <laughs> I'm taking the Bears. We have the Titans at Miami. Oh, two, two, one, and three teams. I'm gonna go with Miami. I'm with the Titans. Like but DeMarco team. Murray might be the deciding factor. DeMarco Murray plays well. DeMarco Murray has played well all season. Yeah. Okay, now we have the Redskins and the Ravens. I'm gonna have to go with the Ravens because they're gonna be pissed because they lost uh. this week. I don't think pissed. I'll just be annoyed, by the way. They're still 3 and 1. Good for them. Yeah. That's what at Ravens win at home. Now we have Texans and the Vikings. Vikings. I, I, don't, I don't see anybody stopping them right now. Yeah. Not even Aaron Rodgers could stop them. But in Lambo, he could. Yeah, maybe. Lambo. So they got one more game to, to test that out. So, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go with Vikings. And yeah, we're just jetting, jetting right through. Yeah, this jetting deal. right through. Let's keep on going. We have the, uh, Jets, at, the Jets at the Steelers. Steelers. Steelers look good. Steelers look pissed. Yeah. Ryan picks six Ryan, Patrick. Ryan picks six. Ryan picks six Patrick. Pick, fuck. I forgot the name they gave him. They gave him a, a cool name on NFL Network and I forgot. But anyway, yeah. Nah. He sucks. Yeah. And the Steelers are good. So the Steelers, Steelers are, are fantastic. Steelers are going to wipe the floor with them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Potential toss up. We have the Falcons at the Broncos. Oh. Simmons still hurt. Is he okay? I think he's. I think he's out for this week. If he's out for this week, I might have to pick the Dirty Birds. I'm. I'm gonna pick the Broncos simply on their defense, but I think it'd be a hell of a game. Yeah. If If Matty Ice is the Matty Ice of last week, I mean Matty Ice is out for like the one of the best years ever. He's the most efficient quarterback in the NFL right now. Oh yeah, just because that game last week put him in that conversation. That was ridiculous. Him and Julio went off like crazy. Yeah, he did. Wow, man. Yeah, Julio, that was awesome. Here we go. We got a uh, potential potential pass up. We got the Bengals at the Cowboys. I'm gonna go with the uh, Bengals. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with the Bengals. Ooh, he's picking against them. I'm here. picking against my boys. I oh, Cincinnati is a one point favorite. I know it, it, it kills me, but I mean, if Dak Prescott can prove me wrong, that would be fantastic. I wouldn't be mad. But Bengals, they were one. I, I told myself they're one player away from being really good. Last week, they kind of struggled against the Dolphins. They didn't give up too many points. You know, they didn't do much, but. Um, Eifert's back, and I'm like, yep, that's the missing piece. So mm. the Bengals are gonna win. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Bengals as well. Uh, breaks my heart, but you know, it is a break my heart. That's life. I'm okay with all losing. Then we have the uh, toss up. Awesome. We have the uh, Bills at the Rams. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the Rams. Go with the Rams. Go with the Rams. Too. Rams are three and one. Rams are, and tied for first in that division. It's ridiculous. I think they are. 
Oh, they're tied. They said that they were tied. I thought Seattle was 2-2. Two two. I think they're tied with Either Seattle. Either way, they are at the top of the division, technically. Yeah. They might be tied, but they're at the top. Near the top, but it's not the top. We're all the way up. <laughs> okay, now we have the uh, Chargers at Raiders. Who was the Raiders? Raiders! Even though the Raiders are 0-1 at home. Yeah, the Chargers <laughs> have found a way to lose every single game, it seems like, that they've lost. They've won one. I mean, the, the KC went to the debacle, but the one against... New Orleans. I mean, that was a shootout. That was a good game. Yeah. That's why I won. Yeah. I guess New Orleans had to win eventually. Yeah, but still, I'm going to have to go with the Raiders. Now we got the uh, we got the Giants and the Packers for Sunday Night Football. Packers. Wow, the Giants are in prime time two weeks in a row. That's awful for them. Packers in Lambeau? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the Packers. Now we go, here we go. I'm going to go Packers as well. The last one. Now we got something I did not see coming. A Bucks versus Panthers matchup, which I'm not confident Panthers are going to win potentially. I'm going to pick the Panthers one more time, and they lose to the Bucks. Since I'm out, I'm done. I quit uh, football. I quit the pick'em business. If they lose to the Panthers, if they lose to the uh, Bucks in Carolina, I will quit. Yeah, this will probably be Chris's last week. Is I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick the Buccaneers. Carolina has shown me nothing. Nothing to be hopeful for. So we're picking, I'm picking the, the Panthers. I'm not picking the Panthers. I'm picking the Buccaneers to defeat like, the Panthers. Panthers. So you never hear from me again. You know? Yep. So this might be Chris's last week. So this might just be Chops NFL pick them. So guys, there you go. There, there are picks this week. If you guys want to go ahead and send us your picks, you know, try to compete with us. Hopefully get a shout out. I swear we're going to give you a shout out. People are like, yeah, that's okay. No, we're going to give you a shout out. Please hit that subscribe button up there as well as down below this video. Right there, there's a subscribe button. Right next to that button is the notification button where you'll get notified every time Chris and I post to pick them. So thank you guys so much once again for dropping by. Sorry it was so short. We have places to be and people to see and babies to kiss and speeches to give. So thank you all so much once Amen. again. Well, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by, and always remember my little piglets calling pork chop and Big Bird. Loves y'all the most, so y'all take it easy, guys, and we will see y'all next time. Bye, guys! Go Titans. Go Cowboys, even though I picked tickets. <laughs>